Welcome back to Informative Classics, where I bring you captivating stories from different classical moments in history. Today, I have an intriguing tale to share with you, a story teeming with bugs. Brace yourself as we explore the fascinating convergence of the 17-year cicadas and the 13-year cicadas. It is a rare occurrence, happening for the first time in 221 years. Join me as I uncover the fascinating details of this phenomenon. And if you're a fan of classics, stay tuned to our channel for more captivating moments from the past. This is an exclusive story sourced from usatoday.com. I will be presenting the article in its entirety. Additionally, I would love to hear from you in the comments section if you are located in an area that will witness this extraordinary event. As a resident of Tennessee, I'm excited to inform you that we will definitely be able to witness this incredible occurrence. I plan to create a video that will provide a close and personal view of these fascinating creatures. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, as you wouldn't want to miss this once-in-a-lifetime event. It's a rare phenomenon that only happens once every two centuries, and I'm thrilled to be able to share it with all of you on our channel. To conclude, here's a map highlighting the states where this phenomenon will take place. Thank you for your support, and we hope you enjoy the video. Informative classics. So guys, let's get right into this story. More than a dozen states across the U.S. are set for a once-in-a-lifetime experience this spring. Though it is one most people would probably prefer to do without. This year, 16 states across parts of the South and the Midwest will see the emergence of two different cicada groups in tandem. A crossover that hasn't happened in 221 years and won't happen again until the year 2245. Periodic cicadas, the winged insects, best known for this, their distinctive screeching and clicking noise that males make when attempting to attract females, have an abnormal life cycle with different groups lying dormant for 13 to 17 years before emerging to reproduce according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. These groups or broods are characterized based on the length of their life cycle with the 13-year group dubbed Brood X1X and the 17-year group brood dubbed X111 for you guys out there who know Roman numerals. More often than not, the broods emerge at different times, quickly mating, lying millions of eggs, and then dying within a roughly five week period. In that time, female cicadas lay up to 400 eggs, which start in the trees then drop to the ground and burrow in for a long wait. This year, however, both massive broods will emerge at the same time, starting in mid-May and ending in late June. The effective states include Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Wisconsin, and Virginia. Two broods to emerge together in the U.S. for the first time in over 200 years. So, guys, if you are ready to experience this phenomenon this spring, again, drop your thoughts in the comment section. And guys, I am going to create a video. As you heard in the introduction of this video, I'll be in an area where there are large amounts of trees so you guys can see as many of these cicadas as possible. So again, subscribe to the channel 
if you want to see this you know i'm not going to be live but i'll definitely create a video where you're getting to see these things because guys these things are massive they're a massive and you'll get to see them and it'll be here on the channel to sit until probably 2245 so if you're watching in 2245 thank you for checking out the channel and guys who are here now thank you for checking out the channel hopefully somewhere in this video i've been informative you guys have a great rest of your weekend and i will catch you in the next video peace out